Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're here returning to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be episode number four in my Ask Judy series. So basically this series is entirely for you guys. It is completely up to you if you want this series to keep going. Basically this series is a Q&A series where you guys ask me questions on my Instagram, my YouTube comments, my personal DMs, or ask me anything stickers on inst my Instagram stories. Basically any questions that you guys ask me, I answer it in this series right here. So this series is for you guys. If you have any questions or thoughts or video requests, in your mind right now or at any point throughout this video feel free to leave them in the comments down below I will definitely get back to you in either the comments or in episode number five the aim of my channel is to entertain educate or enrich your life so if in any way I can help you with that then definitely let me know I will now be answering questions that you guys left for me on my Instagram stories so if you want to see if your question got answered in this series of ask Judy episode number four then just keep on watching before I go any further if you guys do enjoy my videos then please be sure to give this one a thumbs thumbs up, sorry about the mandate, and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. And you can also private message me your questions on these social media platforms as well. Without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. It is currently 1.26 a.m. in the morning, but I just live streamed and did this makeup look on my live stream. It came out so nice. I'm so pleased with how this look turned out that I thought why not film a video with this makeup look on because it is bomb I'm really loving how it's looking and even if it's 1 30 a.m. in the morning I thought it would be a waste of a look if I just live streamed and then took it off. So yeah <laughs> So hence I'm filming at 1 30 in the morning so on Instagram, Dre Oxford asks me, what is your career ambition? Basically, my career ambition ultimately is to be able to do YouTube as a full-time job. I've been working full-time in hospitality for the last 10 years, and honestly, I'm very, very good at it. I have a lot of experience, and I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to hospitality, customer service, retail, ordering, stock rotation, management, all of that sort of thing. And I really enjoy it. I really, truly do enjoy my job. But when it comes to a career ambition in the absolute long run, I don't think I can see myself doing hospitality for another 20 to 30 years. Honestly, my body will get tired and old <laughs> eventually. So ultimately, what I would really love to do is be able to do YouTube as a full-time job that will support me and hopefully ultimately support a family that I hope to have in the future. So yeah, that is my career ambition. I would love to be able to make YouTube something that I can do as a full-time job. Liz asks me on Instagram, how can you still save when you buy a lot of makeup. Honestly, it is a lot of skimping and very strategic planning on the way I spend my money. I do shop the sales and I don't buy a lot of high-end makeup. That really, really helps. I have a lot of makeup, but majority of it is either affordable makeup like Morphe, ColourPop, Juvia's Place, or drugstore makeup. So while I do have a lot of makeup, not all of it is extremely high-end expensive makeup. Probably the only expensive high-end things that I do have are my skincare items. I really honestly can't justify spending $200 for a blush or an eyeliner or a makeup brush. I do enjoy my affordable and drugstore items. I'm always all about the bang for your buck sort of thing, so I'm always on the lookout for really good affordable drugstore items that are really good and perform like a high-end item would. Does that make sense? I do still save money because I budget and I'm, I try to be really smart about how I spend my money. I shop the sales, I don't buy extremely expensive makeup, but honestly now I'm coming to a time in my life where I really need to tighten up and not spend as much money as I used to on makeup and skincare. So I'm gonna have to get really creative with my video ideas because I'm coming into a situation where I won't be able to constantly buy new trending releases in the makeup industry. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to really tighten my belt and commit to this no buy. <laughs> So while I do have a lot of makeup, I try and be really smart about how I spend my money. Is your skin sensitive if you change a skincare product? Well, yes, actually, I think that might be the reason why I have this little friend right here and this little friend right 
up on here on my forehead and a few other little lumps and bumps all over my face these things have decided to move in and they ain't paying rent so they gotta go so while I think stress is contributing a lot to the breakouts that I have on my face I have been trying out some different skincare recently because when I did my morning and evening skincare routine videos I realized that a lot of the products that I was sharing are extremely high-end or extremely expensive products and while they do work for me, ultimately those skincare routines are not going to be financially sustainable for me. So I've been trying to discover some drugstore affordable skincare and I think that might be why my skin is kind of acting up and not being as good as it normally is because I've been trying new and different things. So yes, my skin has been kind of not behaving the way I would like it to behave. I think a lot of it pertains to the fact that I have been trying a few different skincare products. So, yeah. When is the last time you visited the Philippines? Any travel plans this year? The last time I visited the Philippines, I was 16 years old, so that was just over 10 years ago now. I do not have any travel plans this year. I have a bit of exciting news coming up. So while it doesn't involve traveling, it is quite exciting for me, but also in a way that will restrict me from being able to travel in the very near future. So no, I don't have any travel plans this year or any time in the immediate future. <laughs> I would love to though. I would absolutely love to visit the Philippines. I'd love to visit Europe or Cuba for the salsa dancing culture. Um, I would love to visit so many different places, but alas, I cannot afford any of these places right now so I will just content myself and be happy with the simple joys in life that I have right here right now and besides here in Australia you really don't have to travel very far or even go overseas to visit some of you in different places so I'm just going to have to do what I can and while I'm trying to save money I still need to enjoy life and live life to the fullest that I possibly can do you feel like sometimes you don't want to film and what do you do well, yes, absolutely. I have days where I just do not want to film. I can't speak. I don't want to talk. The videos where I have a lot of bloopers at the end of the videos, those are the ones where I have filmed when I really don't feel like filming because I can't speak for one. Maybe I'm in a funky headspace during the day or I'm not feeling motivated or inspired. But you know what? The question, part of the question is what do you do? I still go ahead and do it because I'm serious about this YouTube thing. I need to make it happen. No one else is gonna make that happen for me except for me. So if I want this YouTube thing to happen, I need to go ahead and do it. I need to pull my head out of the sand. I need to get myself going and make it happen for me because nothing good happens from not working hard. So basically that's what I remind myself to motivate myself to keep filming for YouTube and putting out content for you guys because not only is my goal of being able to do YouTube as a full-time job something that spurs me along all the time, but it's really you guys who motivate, encourage, and inspire me to keep on creating videos as well because you are so kind, you're so sweet, so supportive, and the comments that I get on my videos are so encouraging that when I think about those comments are the support and the really encouraging words that you guys extend to me, it just motivates me to keep filming videos and I just try and remind myself why I'm doing it. Where do you get your motivation in life? Well this sort of ties in very closely with the last question and how I answered it. What really motivates me to keep on going with my hard work, my real life job, my YouTube channel, batch filming and uploading videos three times a week and still going and doing my full-time job to the very best of my ability not neglecting either area and just trying to do it to the best of my ability. What motivates me to do that is I have a goal. So I have goals in life that I try and set and take steps towards each one of these goals. So basically my full-time job is my full-time job. That's what pays the bills. That's what keeps me fed. That's basically what keeps me alive. But my YouTube channel is ultimately something that I'm working on right now so that it is what pays the bills in the future if that makes any sense. I'm just trying to be realistic about this and what motivates me to keep on going with the things that I do in my life is that I remind myself why. Like for example, why do I want to have YouTube as a full-time job in the future? Because I want a family and I want to be able to do something from home that I can do with my children, that I can do with my passion and my soul and what I really truly enjoy. And so while the luxuries of a YouTuber's life 
can be quite appealing. That is not ultimately what I am aiming for. Like the free makeup, the stardom, the recognition. That's not what pushes me forward to create the videos. Basically what pushes me forward are my goals and my reasons why I have started and keep on going with the hard work that I do here on my YouTube channel. And basically what keeps me motivated in general in life is that just life itself is precious. Time is precious. You never know when it's going to end. You never know what's going to happen around the corner. So make each and every second count. I don't think I could say that with even more conviction because so many things happen in life that remind you that each second is important. You got to make each and every second count. Don't waste any time. Another question I got was from a subscriber named Noah on my YouTube channel. He asks me any advice on how to get a boyfriend. His question was specifically how to get a boyfriend. Well, honestly, for me, I haven't had to try and get a boyfriend for years. I was actually just speaking to a workmate today on how to get back in the game. I haven't had to try and flirt or play the dating game for years and years and years because I was in a committed relationship. So I kind of feel like I've lost my ability to be able to attract people and, and basically get a boyfriend. But honestly, I'm not a young teenager anymore and I think I have a little bit of experience on how to get a boyfriend. Or a significant other well maybe boyfriend specifically because I am a girl but a really good way to be able to catch someone's attention or let them know that you're interested is to talk to them smile ask them how their day is going like you don't have to hit on them straight away I mean it's easy for me because I work in hospitality and I get to chat with different people every day so I get to practice my game or my smile or get my get my flirt on but not in a too much of an obvious way so basically I'll start with a smile because a smile speaks a thousand words and just be really attentive to what they have to say ask them how their day is going be interested in what they have to say actually listen ask them questions about themselves people like to talk about themselves so ask them what they think about this give them a compliment on something they're wearing say oh maybe i like your tattoo or i like your t-shirt or you look nice today you know give people compliments that's a really good way of telling people you're interested if there are people that you see regularly in social circles or at work or any of those instances take every second to smile and ask them how their day is going i know i'm saying it's really quite simple but when it comes to me trying to do those things now in my life it, it can actually be quite intimidating so I think a lot of this is basically you being confident in yourself nothing attracts people more to you than you being confident in yourself know what makes you happy because positive people attract positive people and same with happy people attract happy people know what you like be happy in yourself and you know honestly it'll attract people to you without you even trying what is the best thing about being a YouTuber? Honestly, I think one of the best things is seeing the growth on my channel. And I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about the feedback that I receive from you guys. Honestly, that is probably one of the best things about it being a YouTuber. I put so many hours and research and hard work and time into being able to put out this content for you guys and the feedback that I receive and being able to connect with you guys on this level like I'm literally filming episode number four in my Ask Judy series and this series wouldn't even exist if it weren't for your guys' interaction if it weren't for you guys asking me questions that you are interested to hear the answers to I think that's one of the best things about becoming a YouTuber like when you first start it's a bit of a grind no one comments no one's really interested in what you have to say and yet here here I am now on episode number four answering questions that you guys have asked me. So that's just a bit of an example on the growth that I'm talking about here on my YouTube channel. I got so many kind comments and responses and feedback on my videos and I think that is one of the best things about being a YouTuber. It's just so rewarding to be able to connect with you guys on this level. Kimberly asks me, why are you so lovely? Well, because you guys are lovely. What, you know, what goes around comes around. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's basically all the questions I have for today's video. I know it's not a very long one, but I did think I had enough to film this one video. I don't want these videos to be very, very long anyway. I just wanted to make them short and snappy and sweet and just try and keep your guys' attention. If you're still watching up to now, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Eye and you can also reach me on private messages on any of those social media platforms as well. 
Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. We can have a conversation. This series is for you guys and I'm so thankful that you're interested in watching this and that you're enjoying it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So Dre, I'll, so Dre Oxford on so on, I have been working full time in hospitality. For me. <laughs>